Welcome back. So now we're going to take a look at culling or tagging your images and what's inside this contact sheet panel as well as the preview panel. So we'll start off with this very first preview. Once you have ingested your images, now you do not have to wait for everything to load. You can start this process right away. So I could actually open this image and start zipping through my images just right away. You do not need to wait. Photo Mechanic is fast and it's rendering the images almost right away as soon as you can see them. So you kind of start to move through and start this process, which will really, really, really improve your workflow. So over here, we have a favorites panel. Obviously you can drag anything you want over here and create a favorites. Over here, we have the navigator. This is gonna house all your hard drives and locations where photos can go. And down here is just those ingest tags that we've performed. Up here, we have a pointer and a zoom function. For the zoom, all you need to do is come over here. You're just gonna click on the zoom. And then basically I'm gonna hover over an image and then I'm gonna click with my mouse. And it's basically, as I move it around, it's gonna show me. And this is just gonna give you a quick preview. So if you wanna see if something's in focus or you wanna look at something zoomed in a little bit, it allows you to do that. It's much better than the other zoom function. Right here, we have this little bar. And this is controlling how big these thumbnails are on our screen. Obviously to the right, they're gonna get bigger. To the left, they're gonna get smaller. You can view by any of these items that you see located in here. I am viewing by file name. You can click here to do it in reverse. And you can also view by all selected, tagged and untagged. And we haven't done any of that right now, so we're just gonna keep it on all. This is also another different way to kind of sort and we'll get into the sort functions here. We can either do it by number or by color. I pretty much use only color in this program. Right here on each window, we are going to have a rotate either way. We're gonna have the info panel. So if we bring up the info panel, this is gonna bring up our caption information or our metadata and allow us to fill in any of these fields. I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay. And then the last one, which is going to be a zoom or basically the preview window. This brings us into a new section that we have here. Right here in the preview window, we have obviously our left and right arrows. This is allowing us to scroll through images. I actually put my right hand on my keyboard and use the right and left arrows to do the scrolling. Now, any of these icons, if you wanna know what they do, all you have to do is hover over them, you see, and it will tell you exactly what it does. And if it has a short key to get to it, it will do that as well. So the plus and minus are gonna to be to either add or over here, subtract from a selected set, rotate once again. This brings up that metadata that we just saw before. So if we wanted to bring up that metadata field, we could click on this or get rid of it. This is to edit a photo. No, I have set it as Photoshop. So if I was to select this here, this would actually go into Adobe Camera Raw or Adobe Photoshop. And the quick key is Command E. We have to copy a photo, to delete a photo. And then these are just different viewing options. So right now it's to view one photo. This would allow us to view two photos at the same time. I'm gonna go back to one. We can do two photos up and down. I'll go back to one. And this is gonna allow us to see the thumbnails at the same time. So the first time you click, it's gonna be on the bottom and the second time it will be on the left. So if you wanna see the thumbnails as you're scrolling through your images, obviously we can come down here and select this and it's gonna give us that option. This is restoring our panel and this is full view. So if I click this, it's just gonna give me a full view and get rid of all those other options. The last icon we have over here is for color management. This is with color management on and color management off. So I have my color management set to Adobe 1998 or Adobe RGB, whichever one you wanna call it. Down here in this set of panels, we have an info panel. And this info panel is giving us information on how this was shot. 
obviously all this has been deleted on this image. If you see any of these icons, this is gonna allow you to manage or save information in those panels. And I'm gonna turn the info off. We have a crop panel, so I can basically come in here and crop this image. Right now, my ratio is set to two by three. If I wanna clear that, I can hit clear, or if I wanna change any of the settings in the crop panel, I can come in here. So any of this stuff, you can just read it over. You can see right now I have this set to three by two, but if I wanted it one by one or five by seven, whatever I'd want to do, I can do that. And then once again, you can save those settings right there. The next section is zoom. And remember there was a zoom when you were on the previews, but now that you're into the image, there's also a zoom. And this is a little bit weird because, and I'll show you here. So if we click zoom, it's automatically gonna kind of render and zoom in and I can control how much zoom we have. So it's a little, and as I go out here, it's a lot. We're just gonna do a little bit for now. However, when you go to the next image, it stays zoomed in. It will stay zoomed in. You have to remember to actually turn it off to get back out of the zoom. But we'll keep that on if you don't click it off. Then we have a histogram. The histogram is just basically showing where your information is in the image. However, you're not really toning or editing much inside of Photo Mechanic, so I'm not sure how much or how helpful this will be. You can show where you've blown out highlights and you can also show where you've lost detail as well, or you can just simply turn that off. So what we're gonna do is just kind of clear out of this. I'm gonna go back to the beginning of this image. And so the culling process is gonna be like this, and we're just gonna close this window. Basically, I'm putting my right hand, my right hand on my arrow keys, and that's just gonna allow me to toggle through this. This is the quickest way I've ever found to do this. And then, I'm gonna set these by color class. And those color classes are up here, pink, red, right there. If you wanna know what they are, you can go up here to image, set color class, and one is gonna be pink, two is gonna be red, and so on. Or if you wanna disable the color, you hit zero. So you don't need to hit command, it's just zero. So you can hit one, two, three, four, five like that. You can also set rating by stars, and I'll show you how to do that. I don't actually use stars, I just use the letter one. I don't care whether it is a star or a letter. But right here, we can see we've got a couple already selected with stars. So there's some little dots on here, and if I click that, that's gonna be two stars, three stars, four stars, five stars, or I can just click on them to remove stars as well. Now, the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna be hitting the number one, and as I hit the number one, you can see this turn to pink. I'll hit zero, and it will get rid of it. I can come over here, hit zero, this will get rid of it. But I'm gonna actually use the preview so I can see what's going on. Now I've got the thumbnails up so you can kind of see me going through here, and it's gonna allow you to see these getting tagged pink. You will see that here and here, and you can also set the stars there. But I'm just gonna use pink. I don't really care if I like one or the other. I'm just going through my images to see which ones I like. And I'm, if I like that one, I'm gonna hit the number one. And then I'm just gonna keep going and hit the number one. So anything that I give a number one to, it's gonna go ahead and star that. And you can see I quickly kind of went back to that image and said, oh, okay, I like this. So I'm just toggling through and you can do this really quick and let's, I'll give that one a one. So once I've done that, I can come out here to my bar. I can, if I have anything labeled with stars, I can come over here and say, hey, anything with one star, I wanna see that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select that one star. But in this case, I've done it with the colors. So what I'm gonna do, this one on the far right is just gonna get rid of all, every class, meaning anything you have up is gonna show. And this is just gonna show anything with one of these colors, those set eight colors. So what that's gonna do is just show me my images that I've labeled through pink. Now, once I've gone through, if I have a whole bunch of images in here and I wanna narrow this down, I can just go up to the number two and start making things red. And so let's say those are my favorite ones. I can click pink off and it's gonna disable that and I'm just gonna see the red. So whatever color you have showing, you're gonna see 
whichever color you have on or off, you're either going to see it or not see it. And then if you want all images, you're going to click this far right box over here and it's going to show you everything. So that is the culling or tagging process inside a photo mechanic. If you have any comments or questions, please leave those comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.